praise the Lord, everybody. We just thank God for this day that he has made. We're going to rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. Have the audacity to give God praise. Hallelujah. When the circumstances and the situations don't look like it. Hallelujah. Give God praise. Somebody said, I will bless the Lord at all times and his praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord that humble shall hear thereof and be glad. Oh, magnify, make it great. Make his name great. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Make his name greater. Amen. Then what's wrong? Make his name greater than how you feel in your body. Hallelujah. Make his name greater than the circumstances. Make his name greater. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Then my bank account. Make his name great. Hallelujah. Magnify the Lord. Hallelujah. Let us exalt his name. Let's lift his name up. For he said, if I be lifted up, I'll draw all men, all of mankind unto me. Hallelujah. If I be lifted up, I will draw all of mankind, you and you and you, hallelujah, unto me. So the higher we lift him, the higher he lift us. Amen. Hallelujah. And that's the subject for today. Love. Hallelujah. His unconditional agape love, his divine love lifted. Hallelujah. He lifted me. Hallelujah. He lifted me. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I don't know what he did for you, but he lift. Amen. Hallelujah. He lift my head up. Amen. When I would be looking down, when I'm upset, perplexed. Amen. Hallelujah. Don't understand why I'm going through what I'm going through, but yet I'm trusting God. Yet I'm believing in God and allowing the love of God to lift me. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. So it's important for us as believers to love God. Amen. And allow his divine love to lift us. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, we're going to go to Psalms 40. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Psalms 40. One. We're going to read one through three. Amen. Hallelujah. And it says, I waited patiently for the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Don't make sense. Hallelujah. Amen. To wait patiently, because if you're waiting, that means you're in need of something. Hallelujah. And if you're in need of something, you're antsy. You're without something. You're lacking something. Amen. Hallelujah. So and a lot of a lot of people, including me, I'm in the group, too. Hallelujah. Amen. Are not too patient when we're lacking. Hallelujah. Amen. We're not too patient. We're not kindly. Sometimes. Amen. We can become irritable sometimes when we're in need and we're lacking. We're going without what we need amen hallelujah that's why the, when the bible says wait on the lord and be of good courage and he shall strengthen thy heart I'm, I'm lord have mercy hallelujah wait on the lord and and on top of that be of good courage it, it that don't make sense uh, it sounds oxymoronic because if i'm waiting on the lord that means i need him to do something and i need it right now Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I need him to move in this situation right now. I need, as, as David said in Psalms 31, deliver me speedily, O Lord. I need a right now deliverance. I can't wait till tomorrow. Amen. As, as Smokey Norfolk sings the song, I need you now. Not another moment. Hallelujah. I need you now, God. Hallelujah. I need you right now. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And now you not only that you're not going to give it to me when I ask you for it. Amen. But you're telling me be of good courage and you're going to strengthen my heart. No, you answer my petition. Meet my need. Do what I asked you to do, Lord. I'm asking. Hallelujah. So David answers. Amen. And says, I waited patiently. Hallelujah. Not only am I waiting, but I'm trusting God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I hope I'm helping somebody today. Not only am I in need and I lack and I need God to do these things, but while I'm waiting, I'm giving him praise, honor and glory, not because of the things that I need him to do for me, but because I'm talking to God. Hallelujah. I'm talking to my deliverer. I'm talking to my healer. I'm talking to my way maker so I can be patient. 
patient when I asked you. I can wait in line at the bank because I'm going to deal with some money. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm not going to fuss. You don't hear too many people fussing. Amen. When it's time to cash their check. Hallelujah. Amen. If you got to pay a bill, yeah, we'll fuss. Amen. But you don't see too many people complaining in line when it's time, when it's payday. Hallelujah. Because you'll stand there. If the line's coming out the door, you're going to get right there in that line. If you don't have any other options, hallelujah, you're going to stand right there in that line. Hallelujah. And every time you move up, can y'all, uh, can y'all, somebody leave a little gap. Amen. You're looking at them funny. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, move. Come on. Come on now. There's some space right there. Y'all can move up now. Y'all move up. Uh, get, get me one step closer. Hallelujah. To cash in my check. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. So I can wait patiently because I know Jesus. Woo, Lord have mercy. I can wait patiently because I know what's coming. Hallelujah. I see the numbers on the check. Hallelujah. And if we have faith, the size of the mustard suit seed, amen, and say, and speak to that mountain, say, be thou removed and be cast in the midst of the sea. It shall be done. So when you're waiting patiently, you're waiting in faith. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Not that you're anxious to wait, but that who you're waiting on, because I know God is my deliverer. I know he's going to do it. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I believe and I know that he's going to make a way out of nowhere. So I waited patiently. I'm at the bank. I'm at the line at the amusement park. Hallelujah. Amen. The line is long, but it's a good ride. Amen. So we can't wait to get to the ride. Throw my hands up and ride it. Amen. As we going up the hill. Amen. And we dump, jump one hill and here come another hill and a turn and twist hallelujah i know what's coming amen so i can wait patiently for it hallelujah thank you jesus and when we can learn to wait patiently on the lord amen even in distress even in my distress i cry unto you hallelujah but i'm waiting patiently for the lord and hear what it says and he inclined unto me hallelujah he dipped down he reached down hallelujah amen hallelujah and he heard my cry i waited patiently for the lord he inclined unto me and heard my cry hallelujah thank you jesus and not only did he hear my prayer he brought me up also out of a horrible pit the second verse says out of the miry clay and set my feet upon a rock and establish my goings hallelujah i, I waited he showed up amen it may not come when i want him but he's always on time he showed up on time he put he picked me up out of the situation and put me on stable ground amen structure hallelujah amen we don't have structure y'all know agape it's coming yes because we don't receive instruction and because we don't receive instruction our life lacks structure and it becomes destructive hallelujah because it don't have structure we don't want to hear what nobody is saying we don't want to hear the word of god the truth of god's word preached to us amen we want to believe that everything is going to be all right and we'll never have problems and situations and why is this scripture in the bible y'all explain that to me now why is they that live godly in christ jesus shall suffer persecution why is that in the bible why is offenses must come hallelujah why did jesus tell peter satan desire to have you and to sift you as wheat but i'm praying that your faith fell if not why did god tell moses i put you in the wilderness to prove you hallelujah thank you why did he say that to them hallelujah thank you Jesus if there was not amen uh, uh, trials and tribulations and different situations that we all go through amen but we have to trust and to believe God hallelujah so once we wait on him and patiently hallelujah blissfully trusting God because he is the deliverer hallelujah because you're talking to God you're talking to the creator of the universe you're talking to the creator of us made in his image and in his likeness and he allows us amen how to the benefit hallelujah of a relationship with him do you know how many people are praying to a false god you know how many people are cutting themselves and doing all kinds of things amen to worship a false god but we can wait patiently on the king of kings and the lord of lords we can wait patiently on alpha and omega the first and the last who it was is and is to come hallelujah the almighty god when i hear the bell ringing i know ice cream is coming hallelujah that's why the kids they say mommy daddy they start pulling on your coat they become the best children in the world when that bell starts ringing hallelujah thank you jesus he told them to go do this clean up your room do that and when that bell ring by the time that second bell the room cleaned they didn't straighten up this they didn't 
hear that because they know when they hear Jesus help us hallelujah when they hear that bell they know ice cream hallelujah is either here or on the way hallelujah if we could just patiently wait hear the bell ringing hallelujah can't you hear the bells ringing hallelujah can't you feel his presence he's already here hallelujah thank you Jesus all you have to do is open up your heart Jesus is already here hallelujah can't you hear it hallelujah can't you feel him don't you know it have that not known have that not heard hallelujah thank you Jesus how that the everlasting father hallelujah thank you Jesus hallelujah is not weary how he don't sleep neither is he weary hallelujah he get power to the faint and to them that have no might he increases strength he inclines unto me and he hears our cry and he brings us up out of a horrible pit whatever it is he can't stay it came to pass it didn't come to stay whatever you're involved in whatever got you hallelujah whatever the circumstance hey god thank you hallelujah whatever the circumstances is hallelujah they're not greater than god hallelujah his name is above every name that at the name of jesus every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that he is lord to the glory of god he brought me up also out of a horrible pit and and, and out of the miry clay that the, the hard clay that gets stuck and pull as you pull hallelujah you try to pull out the more you try to pull out the more it's pulling you in hallelujah the more you try to get out of it the more you get caught up in it hallelujah but he pulled you out of it hallelujah set you upon a rock amen that's why the life god is there hallelujah is there to pull you out when you can't pull yourself out hallelujah when you get a cramp in your leg and you can't swim hallelujah thank somebody amen you lose your breath and and you're, you're taking on water in your lungs. Hallelujah. In the name, it wasn't made for water. It was made for air. Hallelujah. Amen. And so you need somebody to jump in there and, and snatch you out of where you are to bring you to where you need to be. So he took me out of the miry clay. He set my feet upon a rock. He stabbed, He told me, okay, you're going to run. Don't fall in here no more. Hallelujah. He put up cones. Amen. Hey, God, thank you. Around my destruction. Hallelujah. To let me know that to come this way no more. Don't do that no more. Don't listen to them no more. Hallelujah. Don't heed to them no more more trust in the lord with all thy heart lean not to that own understanding but in all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct your path he established my going set me down the street called straight told me what to do there'll be a man down there to tell you what to do paul hallelujah thank you jesus hallelujah oh god thank you in the name of jesus he established your goings he's a lamp unto our feet a light unto our pathway he had put a new song amen the old song got me into the pit hallelujah that's what happened i got into the horrible pit because I was singing the old song, doing the old things, hallelujah, doing the things the same old way, the way I've been doing it, amen, he put a new song in my mouth, hallelujah, even praise unto our God, why should I not praise him, hallelujah, you don't know like I know what the Lord has done for me, you can't tell it, let me tell it, hallelujah, what the Lord has done for me, I'm gonna give him praise, I just want to praise you forever, hallelujah, and ever, every praise, Hezekiah says, hallelujah, is to our God, Every word of worship with one accord. Every praise. Hallelujah. Every praise. Hallelujah is to our God. I'm going to bless him. Mountain high. I'm going to bless him. Valley low. Amen. Harbor pit. I'm going to bless him. Miry clay. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I'm going to I'm going to bless him. Amen. When he set my feet upon a rock and when he takes me out of this, I'm going to bless him. Hallelujah. He established my goings. He gave me the, 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 the divine GPS and tells me where to go. Hallelujah. And tells me what to do do he walks with me he talks with me he tells me that i am his own hallelujah thank you jesus and the presence of the lord is the fullness of joy and at his right hand are pleasures forevermore hallelujah thank you jesus i'm going to give him praise even when i'm not hallelujah when my circumstances say curse god and die i'm going to praise him hallelujah even more hallelujah the more pain the more praise hallelujah the more confusion higher perplexity i'm going to give Give God praise. The more devil I see, hallelujah, the more darkness I see, I'm going to reach to the light. I'm going to walk in the light, the beautiful light. I'm going to give God praise no matter what. Hallelujah, because hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. He's my God. He, he loves me. Hallelujah. Many shall see it, it says. Hallelujah. And fear, reverence God, and shall trust in the Lord. When God brings you out, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but God delivered them out of the all. And so when God delivers them, then your people, everybody around you get to see because they know what you're going through. Hallelujah, Sister Washington, everybody knows what you're going through. So when God delivers you, everybody 
somebody how to seize that God is. Hallelujah. How to, is a deliverer. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Whatever you're going through. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Apostle. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Minister Phillips. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Minister Roscoe. Hallelujah. Amen. Whatever you're going through. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Everybody see what you're going through. Hallelujah. But everybody going to see God deliver you. Hallelujah. Watch God. Watch him. Hallelujah. Watch him. Watch God. Keep your eyes on him. Amen. As Mary told, amen. Hallelujah. Jesus at the wedding. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Said, so watch him. Told everybody, watch him. Watch what he do. Amen. Whatever he say, do it. In other words, watch what he do. Watch what he, watch, watch, watch. He's the savior. He's the savior of the world. He's the savior of the world. Watch, watch what he do. Watch, watch, watch. Hallelujah. Y'all don't know, but I know. Hallelujah. I know what he's going to do. I know what he's capable of. Hallelujah. So I can wait patiently for him. I can trust God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, to bring me out of this. Why do I trust God? Thank you. I'm glad you asked me a question. Hallelujah. That's the other part of it. Love lifted because he loves us. Hallelujah. He created us. Amen. Hallelujah. He loves us so much. Amen. It's his love that lifts us. Hallelujah. Out of that muck in the miry clay. He loves Loves you despite what we say, despite what we do, and, so, and the way we act sometimes, and our unfaithfulness sometimes, and our turning against him and getting mad at him when he's our deliverer. Hallelujah. He still loves us. He so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believe in him should not perish. Hallelujah. But have everlasting life. It, it is his love, is the reason. Hallelujah. Thank hey God. Thank you for your love. Hallelujah. When I didn't deserve it. Thank you, Lord God, for your your love hallelujah when i didn't expect it when i thought we was on the outs hallelujah i thought we had broken up hallelujah i thought you didn't love me anymore hallelujah you showed me hallelujah you cover me hallelujah you, you just touched me with your finger touch of love you you bring me into your bosom hallelujah you cover me with your feathers and now shall my head be lifted up above my enemies around about me because of your great love toward me not my sin hallelujah but you love me hallelujah he loves you so much. Hallelujah. Thank you. Jesus. Beyond your sin, beyond your hallelujah, your ignorance, hallelujah, and stupidity sometimes. Hallelujah. And walking in darkness sometimes. Hallelujah. He loves us. Hallelujah. He loves us. And it's that love that will lift you out of it. It's his love for us. Y'all know your child mess up, but you still love them. Hallelujah. You still love your child. Hallelujah. I never forget. Amen. Hallelujah. When uh, a young man got killed down in Florida, amen, the Redskins, Sean, hallelujah, amen, the young man got killed down there, and people were standing around the hospital, around the jail, amen, they wanted to go get those guys, amen, hallelujah, amen, Sean Taylor, hallelujah, and they wanted to get those guys that killed him, amen, hallelujah, so they was at the jail, ready to go in there, hallelujah, but the police wouldn't let them in there, hallelujah, a young lady came by and knocked on the, on the, on the door, hallelujah, she said, I, I need to get in there, hallelujah, everybody out there want to kill these guys, Guys. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Everybody want in there out there want to kill these guys. Hallelujah. And so and so she's knocking on the door like this. And she and they said, ma'am, you can't come in here. Hallelujah. She said, I gotta come in there. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. She said, I don't want to say it out here. But she said it right there in front of those guys that was there to take out those guys out. Hallelujah. She said, My son is in there. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. One of the killers is my son. Hallelujah. And I come to see my son. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Despite what he did, despite everybody hating him. Hallelujah. But that's my son. Hallelujah. And I want to come see my son. Hallelujah. Amen. So despite what we do, amen, God has a great love beyond. He looked beyond my faults and he sees our need and he has a great love for us not willing that any should perish but all come to repentance god loves us amen hallelujah he loves us out of it hallelujah he loves us out of us. He shows us that divine, unconditional, agape love. Amen. That we may feel his love. Hallelujah. His power and his authority. And he, all he asks us to do is to share that love. Hallelujah. That's what he told me. Amen. Agape is not a catchphrase. I didn't look up names of churches in the, in, in, in the dictionary. Hallelujah. I didn't Google it. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. It's the love that he showed me. The unconditional love. I told you all my 
favorite song is Great Is Thou Faithfulness. God has been faithful. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Even when I was unfaithful. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. When I'm unfaithful to God, God is faithful. Hallelujah. And he shows his great love. Hallelujah. Amen. And so he told me to receive his love, first of all, and to share that agape unconditional love without without pram, uh, preconditions and no preconditions. Hallelujah. Amen. You sh you have to just show love no matter what. Uh, and it has not been easy. Amen. Because I didn't have that love no matter what. Amen. Eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth. Hallelujah. Amen. Skin for skin. A man to do anything for a skin. You hurt me, I'm going to hurt you. You kill my dog. I'm going to kill your cat, your dog, your parakeet. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But he showed me his love. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Amen. And show his great love and, and, and the love of God. And so he told me to share. That's what the mini, Agape Worldwide Ministries is all about, sharing his love all over the entire world. Amen. And so when you show that love, you show, amen, we might not exhibit the power of God, amen, the words of God and have the meaning the same way God, but we can show love like God love, amen, that's the one thing we can do, amen, hallelujah, without restraint, hallelujah, amen, and in the exact way God did, love us, amen, hallelujah, and so we can wait patiently, amen, in our homes, in our family, we can be patient with our children, amen, with our neighbor, because we have the love of God, we are confident in God, amen, we might question some folk down here, that's what I, you know, y'all know, hallelujah, we might question some people down here on earth, but our love for God is real, my testimony is real, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus, and I say, I say to you, show that love of God, let that love lift you, amen, it'll make, it made me a better person, amen, and it'll make you a better person, Hallelujah. When you see circumstance, young lady on YouTube, amen, sent a prayer request for her grandson. Amen. That that she said can't talk. He does not talk. Amen. And, and I'm saying in faith that he will. Amen. She shall hear her grandson's voice uh, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We should have love and compassion one on the, uh, of another. When people call in with prayer requests, amen. Sister Washington called about her situation. Hallelujah. Her dire need right now. Hallelujah. Amen. We should have love and compassion. Amen. Hallelujah. And, and if we had the, the ability, then we should respond. We had the responsibility to respond if we have the ability. If you don't pray, hallelujah, let's come together and pray and have a little talk with Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. And watch him move in our behalf. I waited patiently for the Lord. He inclined unto me and heard my cry. He brought me up also out of a horrible pit, out of the miry clay and set my feet upon a rock. He established my goings. He has put a new song in my mouth, even praise unto our God. Many shall see it and fear and shall trust in the Lord. It was his love. It is his love that's going to lift you out of there. He has the power. He has authority. But why he does it is because he loves us. Hallelujah. He loves us. He loves you. You have merit. You have worth. Don't take your life. Your life is precious. Your life is precious. I don't care what they said. I don't care what they did. Let the love of God come into your heart and let it lift you. Because if God brought you into this world, he has a purpose for you today. Hallelujah. So let it lift you. Everything might look like it's wrong, but that's the horrible pit. That's what it's supposed to look like. But God can bring you up out of it, out of that miry clay. In the name of Jesus, that thick clay, hallelujah, that pulls more than it allows you to be lifted. But he has the strength to pick you up out of it and put you on, on stable ground, on a solid rock. That rock is Jesus. He's the one. Hallelujah. Stand on that rock. Hallelujah. Stand on Christ, on Christ. The solid rock we stand. All of the ground is sinking sand. Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for your people. We thank you for the family of God. Lord God, we ask for your divine hand upon your people. Lord God, we ask for you to move in the hearts and minds of your people. Lord God, we ask for you to touch and deliver. Hallelujah, Sister Washington. Lord God, and bring her up out of that horrible pit, out of that miry clay. Lord God, hallelujah, we ask for your divine hand upon her. Lord God, Minister Roscoe Phillips, Heal and deliver him. We thank you for keeping him thus far. And we're looking for you to move even more 
and Lord God, put him back on his feet, moving, amen, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus, by the power of your holy word. This grandmother that said she wants to hear her grandson's voice, Lord God, let him talk, let him speak to grandma and ask her grandma questions and play and have fun as a little child should. In the name of Jesus, move by the power of your holy word on upon her life and upon that young man's life. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. By the power of your holy word, all those that said pray for me, all their family members, amen, hallelujah. Everybody on this prayer band, Lord God, hallelujah. We ask for your divine hand upon your people. Lord God, even as our moms and our dads, they get older and they're going through different situations. Lord God, maybe cancer, maybe Alzheimer's. It could be a lot of different things. Whatever it is, Lord God, they raised us. Amen. And maybe we have to raise them now. And God, we ask for your divine hand and intervention in the situations of our life, Lord God, in the lives of the people of God. Move right now. Many are the afflictions. But there's one God and there's one deliverer. There's the one way maker, one healer. Hallelujah. Amen. And Lord God, we trust you today. We put our faith and trust in you because we know you will do just what you said. We thank you for your love and we thank you for that love lifting us. It's nothing like being in love with God. Hallelujah. And him in love with us and us receiving the love of God. Receive your love, Lord God. Let your love shine and spread abroad in our hearts, teaching us, Lord God, to deny unfilthy lust. We should live godly in this present world, Lord God. Help us, Lord God, as your children. Help us, O oh God, of thy salvation for the glory of thy name and deliver us and purge away our sins for thy name's sake. So we, thy people and sheep of thy pasture, we'll give thee thanks forever. We will show forth thy praise through all generations. We thank you. We praise you. We glorify your holy name. These and all blessings we ask in Jesus Christ's name, I pray. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 And amen. God bless you, family. Love you in Jesus' name. Thank you for joining us for this noonday prayer broadcast or podcast, whichever way you're with us today. And I thank God for you. Keep us in prayer as we continually pray for you in the name of Jesus. Our closing scripture, 1 Timothy, 1 chapter 17, verse now to the King, eternal, immortal, invisible, the only wise God be honor and glory forever and ever. Let the church say, Amen. Hug somebody. Tell them that you love them. This is the Agape way. God bless you, family. Love you in Jesus' name, and I'll see you guys next time. God bless you. Agape Worldwide Ministries and Pastor Renzo James Fields invite you to come worship with us in Springfield, Virginia. We're located 7240 FNG Boudinot Drive in Springfield, Virginia. Call 703-372-1174. Agape Worldwide Ministries. Real love, real people, real church.